North Korea is a pretty isolated country, so how did it come to take a thousand Volvos from Sweden and never pay for them? Let's find out. Back in the 70s, the gross domestic product of North Korea was doing pretty well, and in fact, on a par with South Korea. Famously neutral Sweden decided to use zinc and copper extracted from North Korea, using equipment also supplied by Sweden, and then selling the metals to pay for 1,000 Volvo 144 sedans, like this one. Now, like everything in North Korea, Kim Il-sung at the time dictated what happened, including the importation of vehicles. It wouldn't be right to give everybody a Mercedes S-Class, he'd keep that for himself. However, he could think of something just as robust but more affordable, and the Volvo 144 GL seemed to be the perfect car. So he took advantage of the Swedes who were impressed by the GDP growth that I mentioned earlier, and exchanging these for the minerals, rather than payment, the deal was done. North Korea having no foreign exchange reserves meant that its extraction of copper and zinc from beneath North Korean soils would be crucial to pay for the machinery and also to pay for the Volvos. In addition, economic forecasts pointed to an increase of the price of these materials. So far so good, but this is where the plan goes wrong. The copper and zinc was never extracted and never made it to Sweden. Many of the mines were not even started. So at first Sweden tried to negotiate with the North Koreans, but by the late 1970s it was clear the North Koreans would never pay them. Since then, every year, Sweden has presented an invoice to the North Korean government, adding interest every year. However, to this day, the bill has never been paid. So while the invoice remains unpaid, those thousand Volvos are still running around the capital, Pyongyang. Many of them are taxis. So after 40 years of continuous service, that isn't bad. Even these Volvos need service and maintenance repairs. So clearly the parts are coming from somewhere, but if you do get the chance to visit Pyongyang and take a taxi, the chances are it will be one of these Volvo 144s. So thanks again for watching Lot 76 Cars. Please like, share, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.